finished getting ready. David's on his way home from work and I'm gonna go out with a girlfriend and have a little girls night. Um, there is a company in Minneapolis called Lab and they're just known for putting on these like amazing creative like events and this one in particular i've gone almost every year since i've lived to or lived in minneapolis it's called the collective and um they just basically have a bunch of local vendors there and they all have like amazing art so it's either like art jewelry um i don't know there's all sorts of different vendors there and they just have really cool things for sale and um, it's just a fun way to support local people and they all have like cool food and drinks and music and stuff like that It's just a really fun event to go to So my friend and I that we used to work together and we'd always go to this company's like creative talks during the week when we were Still working. We both actually don't work at that company anymore, but um, we still keep in touch a ton and um, we both love them. So we're gonna go to the little market and then we're gonna go out to dinner afterwards, which just sounds so nice. I definitely need like a little girl's night. So David and Remy are gonna have a little date night at home, have some frozen pizza and mom is gonna go out. So I'll bring you guys along. Not sure how much I'll vlog, but I'll just kind of show you um, everything that they have there. I'm sure it'll be super cute. They're like a very like aesthetic company and they're definitely my vibe so i'll bring you guys along i'm very excited i was going to vlog when i did this but on wednesday we got to go and see baby um i have this thing called placenta previa i think is how you say it and it's basically this might be tmi i don't really know but my placenta is covering my cervix so um Nothing is like harmful to the baby. It's just like more of a concern for delivery um, So I just have been having a couple more like ultrasounds than normal um, But this time around I don't know with Remy. I'm at the same hospital and everything. I never got a 3d ultrasound with her I went to a place and like paid for it to get done but for some reason I don't know in the last two years if they started doing them, but um yeah, we're just seeing the baby in 3D now at this hospital. I'm try to cover like my information, but still show you one without bending it. Hold on. Here is baby. So cute. Everyone thinks it looks like my brother, so they're guessing it's a boy and that maybe this baby will look a little bit more like me than Remy girl because she is her daddy's twin. But um, yeah, it's just so fun to see them. I'm like, I obviously know I'm pregnant, but it's just crazy like that little baby is growing inside of me right now. And this baby is on the move. It is like so active. David saw it like when we were laying in bed last night and he was like shook. He's like, oh my God, what does that feel like? Speaking of dad, dad, daddy's home. I'm eating some of these before I leave. Do you want to come taste test yeah. this? They're so good. Yeah. Perfectly like crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're so good. Adding the dill and garlic was a big improvement. Mm -hmm. We used to never do that, but it's good. back in the car um such a cute event i didn't get a ton it was a little smaller i feel this year but i found the coolest earrings you guys i saw them and i immediately was like i need these so i got one for myself and then one for a gift and i just think they're so cool so they look like this so pretty and the cool part about them is you can wear just like the hoop or um and take this like little charm off 
just thought they were so cute so i got the green ones i just thought the green was kind of fun and then for my gift i got the same earrings but just in um a different colorway um they're kind of like this more like amber color but how fun i feel like they're just like unique and cool so this is the brand i think she has like an online shop it's called ellen um she has really cute things i could have bought a bunch of her stuff i think i went back to her like little table three times i was like are you gonna call the cops on me you probably think i'm nuts because i just like keep coming back here but anyways off to go get some pizza i'm so excited Good morning. It's uh, me. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Hey guys, it is Friday, a few weeks later. I cannot seem to get my act together when it comes to filming, but we're gonna film today. It's Friday, it's actually um, Memorial Day weekend, so my goal is to film today and then start a new vlog tomorrow for the full weekend. Um, that's my hope anyways. But Remy and I just got ready and we're gonna head out to a little park to let her play, probably stop at Starbucks to get a coffee and um, yeah, that's our plan for this morning. So let's head out. Um, we're all just needing a little bit of fresh air, I think, this morning. So, are you ready? Oh. Oh. Are you ready to go get a cake pop? Yeah! Is there some yummy? Cake pop. Good, you're so cute. Mm. I love you. A pop. Yeah, a pop. Should we show them my belly? I would show you guys before I leave. Yeah. I'm currently, how many weeks? I'm almost 34 weeks. And my belly, I'm feeling Mommy. very big this week. Mom. I feel like this week I've hit like a. Mom. Yeah, honey. I go. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, I feel like I've gotten my like first trimester tired back, and I'm just feeling very full. Like everything is tight. Um, but love a bump. We are going through Starbucks right now to get Mama coffee and Romy a cake pop because. You know, we just had one of those mornings that this seems like the right move. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I think we're gonna go to a park and let her play for a little while. And then we'll kind of see how the rest of the day goes. But that is the plan. Um, Mommy? Yeah. This actually feels like a really big treat because I haven't talked about it at all on social media, but I was Mommy? diagnosed with gestational Mommy? diabetes. Mama? Yes, honey. Yep, I'm gonna get it for you, okay? I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes this time around. I was very borderline, which has made things a little easier for me. I've been able to control everything with just my diet. I haven't had to do like any sort of insulin or anything like that. So for the most part, it's been pretty good. I've had my days where I just like want to eat whatever the heck I want to eat because I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I'm just like it's kind of annoying yeah. to like have to watch yourself so much um but I know it's for the best for the baby and for me so we're doing it and hopefully as soon as this baby comes out everything is back to normal and we can enjoy candy and soda and carbs again but for now we're gonna get starbucks and i only get one pump of like the normal sugar and that i've had it a few times and i've tested and everything's been fine um i'm just gonna get egg bites as well because i feel like if you have something sugary and you have like protein with it you're usually okay but it's all different with everybody, but that's just something that I've been going through with this pregnancy that I did with Remy, and it's like, you know, it was kind of a buzzkill, but here we are. We 
are back from the park. Remy is having lunch right now and I'm gonna prep my lunch while she is eating. I'm gonna have some tuna salad and I'm gonna use celery to eat it and then have a couple crackers also. I've learned with this gestational diabetes is to, well, it's all like dependent on your body obviously, but I've like been able to eat a little bit of carbs and my numbers have seemed totally fine. So for example, for lunch, I'll make my tuna salad and I'll eat most of it with celery sticks and then I'll have like five to 10 crackers with it and I will be totally fine. Luckily, like I said, I think earlier, my numbers have all been like very normal. I've had a couple high ones, but it was kind of like I anticipated them to be high because one, I would like, I tried to eat a donut one day and that just didn't go over well. So um, for the most part, it's been pretty manageable, um, but I would not wish it on anybody. It's not fun. I'm like, I just want ice cream and oh god what was it oh nachos i was craving nachos yesterday and i could probably have like a really small plate of them it's just the whole thing but anyways i could talk more about that if you guys are interested but it's just kind of where i'm at right now so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and make this while she's finishing up eating here and then i think i'm gonna do a really quick cleanup of my house change the laundry and stuff and then hopefully be able to go sit outside for like a half hour to an hour and get some color because my legs are so pale and it's been warm here so i've been like wearing shorts but my legs i feel like are so pale so that's my goal for this afternoon hi no, I don't mind. most of the cleaning done so that feels good I didn't go lay outside yet but I think what do you think should we maybe fill up your pool yeah yeah would that be fun pops pops has a pool yeah um yeah. we got a new patio poured like last week I think it was and so we've been busy setting that all up I'll maybe show you guys that in the next vlog but I think for now what are we gonna do I have to prep a little thing for dinner tonight and I'll probably give her a little snack and then I think we'll go play outside until David's home. Um, so yeah, is daddy gonna be home from work soon? Yeah. Yeah. I got her after nap time. It's like my like favorite time. She's so sweet. Are you give me hugs? Squeeze. Squeeze. Bear hug squeeze. Mm. It's daddy. Daddy's at work. Mm. But he'll be home soon. <laughs> store to grab some things that we need for dinner i was gonna do target delivery but like half the stuff we need i couldn't get and so 
think we're just gonna walk to the grocery store that is nearby. And while we're outside, we got another delivery. I ordered a few things for like postpartum and some stuff for the hospital. Um, I feel like I literally have so much to catch you guys up on. Um, my due date now is a little bit earlier than expected. And to be honest, I haven't done the nursery. I was gonna do the nursery, but then I don't know the gender of this baby and I felt like I was just making it like all beige because I couldn't like, I felt like it was either too girly or it was like going too like boyish. So I was like playing it safe and doing like a total beige room, which was basically Remy's nursery. And I just want to do something different. So I decided to wait until this baby is here. Um, we have a crib set up and we're going to make it work until after a baby. Um, and then I'm going to do a really cute nursery that I can like full out design. But anyways, so I've been just like very lax and I feel like I haven't bought the baby that many clothes. Like I've just kind of been very chill about it. And this week I started panicking. I was like, I need to start ordering some things just to make sure that we're at least prepared. Is it all good? Is it good? Anyways, I ordered this when I was pregnant with Remy and I was obsessed with it. It's um, a linen robe from Parachute and it's just in the color stone. It's super natural, but it's literally the softest thing. It feels like a blanket and because I'm having this baby like in the beginning of summer, it's gonna be hot and it's just not like a super like big fuzzy robe and it isn't super hot. So um, I ordered a medium with my first one and I kind of immediately wished I would have sized up. Um, but I have like obviously my bump, so I was like, oh, it'll fit me like fine once I have the baby. But I don't know, I feel like a robe, like I just don't want it to be like tight at all and I wanted to like cover everything. So I bought the same robe, but I just sized up one. Um, and I'm obsessed with it and I know that I'll use this all the time. I probably won't bring this to the hospital, um, but when we're home, I know I will probably live in this. So that's what I got in the mail. Um, I did order some other things like for postpartum, but maybe I'll do like a whole like what's in my hospital bag, like stuff like that type of video when I get more things. Cause right now I just have a couple things to show, but if you guys are in the mood or in the market for a new robe, um, they're 20% off right now. I don't know if they'll still be, but um, yeah, it's my favorite robe that I've ever had and I'm just glad to have one that will fit me a little bit better. We just got back from the grocery store. David got home a while ago. So we walked there, grabbed everything for dinner. I think I mentioned before, we're gonna do hibachi tonight on his Blackstone. It's like the nicest night out. So he's gonna do that. They're filling Remy's pool right now and I'm just gonna prep everything for dinner. Hibachi is like super easy and you can like really do it ahead. Like we'll probably not have dinner for a while, but I just want to get all the veggies chopped up. It's basically just chopping up a ton of veggies, meat or fish of whatever sort you make. And then we're also going to make some fried rice on the Blackstone. It's so nice because it's literally all done outside so my kitchen can stay clean. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited just to like kind of zone out for like 20 minutes. Um, some nights after having Remy all day by myself, I'm like, all I want to do is just like cook dinner alone in my kitchen and I feel like I'm able to like really relax. There's something I learned in, um, a class that I did and it's like, when you really focus on something, you, I don't know what I'm gonna, it's gonna not make sense when I try to explain this, but it's basically like the feeling when you get like zoned into a puzzle, you kind of like forget about like your stresses in life and you just kind of like go to another like space. Um, cooking does that for me. I've learned that some nights I just need like to be in my kitchen by myself, just like preparing dinner. It like makes me like think of other things and if I've had like a long day, it just like relaxes me. And I feel like that's what this little like cut up session is gonna do. Oh my gosh, my belly looks so big in this shot. Well, it is so big, but anyways, David made a marinade for our steak. So I'm gonna cut that up, put that in here, and then 
just cut up all the vegetables that he'll put on the black stone. This um, Japanese barbecue sauce is so good on any sort of like Japanese Asian uh, dish. It's super thin, so it's almost more like I would say more of a soy sauce than barbecue, but it's so good. We really like it. So if you're into this type of meal, you should try that.